All right, everyone. Welcome to another awesome uh, edition of the Hall of Healers. And today I have with me uh, Assistant Professor Chandresh, uh, who is facing uh, you know challenges in his gut health, emotional health, and mindset before coming into the self healing challenge. And right now he has seen fantastic transformation after working with us for over five you know five to six months now. So in this uh, video, we are going to look at what are the transformations Chandresh has got. What were the challenges he was facing before, and you know how working with us transformed him. So watch this video fully, okay, and um, you know gain insights from Chandresh transformations, right, and uh, apply it for yourself as well. So Chandresh, welcome to the Hall of Healers. Thank you. Fantastic. So Chandresh, uh, you know, like, can you like help me understand, uh, you know? What's your nature of work and uh, what are the challenges you were facing in your gut health, emotional health and mindset before joining the self-healing challenge? Yeah. So my nature of my work is like uh, basically teaching, but uh, okay. that's only 10 to 20 percent. That's all. The remaining 80 percent will be having a lot of documentation, research, mm -hmm. uh, many other stuff, clerical uh, jobs also. Uh, and it's it has been part. Uh, so I used to have a lot of uh, pain in my uh, shoulders, hand, neck, and all. And um, the foot time, sleep time, all used to vary. And uh, because of that, my digestion issues um, that was not okay. Uh, also, I used to get uh, headaches once in a while. Yeah. Then um, maybe I'm obese, so I had uh, knee pain. Mm -hmm. And also I had intimacy issues, uh, fully engaged into work and not concentrating on family and other aspects of life. Mm -hmm. So I knew like I had to do, but uh, there was no structure for that. And uh, I was okay with it and I was continuing and I was not um, daring to engage myself into many things, worrying about my health, pains and all those Got things. You. You, this used to be my uh, situation mm -hmm. and uh, that's what made me to join you. Got you. So, Chandra, what I understood is, yeah, you're facing, you know, uh, pains in the back and the shoulders and there's knee pain and there's varying food and sleep time due to which, like, there's issues with your digestive health and there were headaches for you. I get that. And the weight also was high. And there was challenges in the relationship areas as well because, like, you've concentrated too much on the work, uh, not on the family, right? So, love, peace, uh, you know, relationship connectedness was missing for you. I understand that. So uh, tell me one thing, Chandresh, like, why did you like choose to, you know, work with self healers hub uh, uh, out of all the others you see out there? Yeah. So uh, the person who introduced me to you, uh, I knew him and I know that he was the one who believed that uh, just knowing is not sufficient. Uh, there is a need for a structure. So that uh, that helps us practice regularly. Okay. And an approach for that also is not just you just say and leave it. No. Uh, if you can understand how human beings work and like operate from that, uh, probably many things will transform and move. That's what I had learned and knew. So when he introduced you, I uh, attended your one, one hour session uh, mm. some five, six months ago. I don't remember. Uh, then like uh, I clearly felt that okay by looking at you and your presentation and the ways uh, I could get that because I had that sense previously one such um, master in different field so mm -hmm. I had seen and I know like how a master operates so I got that complete uh, touch with you and I was looking for a uh, holistic then Ayurveda based uh, a calm person who can listen understand and then um, deliver so that I found in your one hour lecture. So immediately I thought, okay, this is the person I was looking for and I joined. Thank you. Thank you, Chandrish, for placing your trust in self healers hub and uh, moving ahead in taking care of your health. So Chandrish, I would like to now understand from you, like what are the powerful transformations you've seen in your gut health, emotional health and mindset, like after starting to work with me? Yeah. Uh, with respect to gut health, uh, many days I used to like be okay with that indigestion, whatever those things I had. Mm -hmm. uh, I knew like I had to do something, but uh, somehow um, things were not in line, something was missing. 
uh, I, I had like given up also something. It's a combination of all those things. But uh, mm -hmm. off late, for many months, the gut health was very good. The digestion, all those aspects was very good. But once in a while, there used to be fluctuation due to different aspects. Uh, but being in touch with uh, your calls and videos and inputs. So that's like uh, almost normal. Almost right. normal. Mm -hmm. So once in a while, yeah, due to some issues that gets uh, upset, but that's like a huge shift from uh, previously, like majority of time I used to be like that. And once in a while, it used to be good. Now it's like the opposite way. So, oh, so now, okay. Got you. one thing and the gut and the mindset. Oh, uh, I could very clearly see that with everything, there was some mental blockages or some negative uh, impressions and helplessness. Uh, all those things attach uh, with food, uh, routine, exercise, um, time, everything. Uh, so in your uh, classes when I attended, I got to catch that, okay, with everything I have associated like that. So now I can very clearly see that uh, there's a lot of positive shift. So mm -hmm. even if I miss one day exercise, I don't make it wrong and that's fine. I'll make it up another day and it's been ease. With ease, the exercise happened. So that freedom I did not have be before. Uh, when I missed, I used to feel um, bad and that used to get discontinued. Again, I used to start and that was not work. Now it is not like that. And uh, in one of the sessions, you said that um, uh, depend on principle, it works a lot. So I started applying that also. Uh, so from that, what has happening is like uh, whatever aspects of my life uh, is there with all those aspects, definitely there's some thought associated with it. I can see that. And in all those areas, I'm gradually bringing the principle-based uh, thoughts. Mm. So things are moving and all are positive. So even so many things happen and I don't uh, sit back. I don't like uh, leave it. Uh, with ease, I take it ahead. I'm really happy to know that, you know, your mindset has become like at ease and you're able to move forward. And like, what were the changes in your emotional uh, health, Chandresh? Uh, emotion, I used to get a very uh, uh, anger, very quick anger. Very quick anger. Mm -hmm. uh, sh like short temper. Uh, mm -hmm. Then I used to feel bad. I used to ask sorry. Uh, I used to repent also. Uh, now, like <laughs> that has uh, shifted a lot. Uh, it's like... Uh, one in hundred times I get like that now. Uh, wow. So there's like, I, I can see myself in a, every situation. I can like respond. So in the six months, only twice I had got such short temper actually. Wow, man. That's fantastic. And before, how much you used to get? Oh, yeah. yeah like weekly, some five, six times. <laughs> you, you, every you meeting, mean? every discussion used to be with, like, uh, I have a video which my student had recorded and where a teacher said that uh, his fire always on burning. So that was the comment. Now, if I see that video, I like laugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's real transformation, Chandresh. When you can't recognize your old self, yeah. that's true transformation. And do you like think you like go back to those old ways? No, no, no. Actually, it hurts me also, others also, and it's a uh, it, it leaves a bad impression on everyone. Papa, they are suffering simply. Some are frightened. Some are like worried, annoyed, and like all different things. Unnecessarily to make something right or wrong, uh, I mean, that was not required actually. Got you, Chandresh. And it's really great that you gained this maturity. And uh, like, tell me one thing, Chandresh, like, whatever changes, whatever transformations you have seen, right? Like, do you think this were, these are sustainable to you and you would keep it for a long term rather than a short term? Yes. Fantastic. And uh, did you feel like this is restrictive or, you know, uh, difficult to do, Chandresh? No, uh, you had ensured that uh, you had given all freedom to uh, me, uh, us, to decide, think, and move on, and freely interact and discuss any issues. Uh, I was like uh, really happy. If you are just confined to food and uh, exercise, probably I would I would have been very sad again. Uh, probably I don't know because uh, you had considered that whole life wheel. Yeah. And you had touched all aspects. Uh, so whenever I brought anything, many attempts in one-on-one -on -one session, I used to come with a low feeling only. Okay, I'm not okay in something. Something has not put something. Something like that. But every time, but the end of that one-to-one -one meeting, I was like on top. So I could see mm -hmm. that. So uh, every one-to-one -one session was great for me. And something had moved. Something had moved. Something had moved every time. 
so it was not restrictive it was constructive and vast and inclusive constructive vast and inclusive fantastic man thank you i really like you know truly receive this acknowledgement and i really acknowledge you for not sitting back and not doing anything about your health but actually being proactive and you know having that resourcefulness and having that initiative and you know being accountable right so you really made it happen and i truly acknowledge you for that chandra so bringing the resourcefulness then taking the initiative being the proactive person and you know being accountable to yourself and to the group and taking that action i really acknowledge you for that right chandra so you know man many who might be watching this chandra is like they may feel like uh, you know this is too costly or i can't do this or you know so many excuses and reasons for not becoming healthy or justifying their uh, you know diseases so chandresh one question or one advice from you like why they why people need to invest on your health why do they need to do that yeah so even you asked very appropriately you did not say why people have to spend on it so you said why they have to invest so it's an investment only actually and it's a very uh, clever wise investment rather uh see even i personally feel that this amount is costly uh, because of the background from which we come we don't spend money just like that first of mm-hmm. all and if you're spending it it, it has to be like um, established uh, amount like a marriage hall okay 1 lakh so we are all set we don't mind even for, we use just for one day and you are okay to spend 1 lakh so uh, i mean many of us the middle class family probably we come from that uh, m- mindset Oh, uh, this is very new. Why so much? And you don't give treatment. Why? Like we come with all the calculation. Definitely, you don't give treatment directly like that. But you give support for six months and beyond also. And there's a lot of video which we can access, and our family members can also use that. Oh. And uh, there's like uh, beyond this, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, mm-hmm. See, there could be many resources on health, fitness. all these things available over internet books and many other sources uh but uh, uh, with any field for that matter one to one mentorship is required uh, i'm damn sure because you are expert in this field on ongoingly you are practicing these things so you understand us very clearly and with every step you guide us i mean you take us you lay out what is there what we can choose and all so that does not happen um so when when i compare that no uh see for me for past 37 years okay uh though i knew all good things nice things uh, everything i was finding it difficult to bring it into practice now with a uh, few months of association with you many things are in practice and this will take care for the rest of the life no if you ask me only once i had visited doctor that because i had a severe cold which was borrowed from my son apart from that from past this 4 5 6 whatever months of association with you uh, i have not spent uh, med- i mean amount on any medicine wow so if if you just see like that if you see like that from different angle so it's a long term investment which has inculcated practices in me with a positive shift so that will take care of my whole of my life plus Mm-hmm. i can any time access you and your group okay plus um those things uh, will save my time money energy which again i can invest on something else for my um, uh, entertainment leisure growth any spirituality everything everything i am investing actually so if you see like that this investment is like fine it's affordable lovely so you know, what got it chandra and i'm truly i'm happy that you got more than the worth what you invested for Yes. what i'm seeing and hearing from you thanks a lot chandresh and to all the people who are watching you know i hope you learned a lot from chandresh's insights and transformation and if you like want to have a chat about your health with us there's a link in the description of this video click that link and you know apply for that uh, clarity call so chandresh congratulations i acknowledge you fully keep achieving results and you know wishing you most and more in your I health